Hello everyone, it's Fight Week. We're in Baltimore, Maryland on Javante Tank Davis and Ricardo Nunez headliner. I have a fighter contending out of the ATL. Introduce yourself, Warrior. Yeah, my name is Michael Harris. I'm making my pro debut. Uh, ready. About to go to the weigh-ins tomorrow. Perform my best and show people my skill. I know you're in the toughest part right now, weight cutting. Your own weight. So let the fight fans know a little bit about your history and backstory. How long have you been contending in the sport of boxing? Uh, well, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So, you know, I come from a boxing state. So I've really been boxing since I was a kid, you know. Um, I, didn't, well, I had a short amateur career, only 20 fights. Um, but I have a lot of experience to back that up. Um, I despair with many pros. I despair with Javante Davis himself. All right. Um, a lot of other pros. Um, what did you learn from that experience with, 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 with sparring with the bigger fighters? Because, you know, I interviewed Shakur and them um, guys, and they said the same thing, that they spar with bigger names. So what did you take from sparring with those? What experience did you gain from that? Uh, they really teach you a lot. Yeah. Uh, like when I'm in there with Javante, uh, he's like my brother, so, you know, he's never really trying to hurt me, hurt me. Yeah. But, you know, when it comes to it, I'm showing off my skills, showing off his skill, he really teaches me more than anything and I really just learn so when I go for other people it's always easy work that, that that term easy work is always good for the ones who put in the um, hard work and dedication exactly. so what's some of your um, strong points and assets in your boxing arsenal without giving away too much uh, well this is not going, honest, this is not going to be posted to next week anyway so you could <laughs> it, it wouldn't matter anyway when it'll be posted yeah to be honest but uh Y'all will see Saturday that I'm a great body puncher. Okay. I just stop almost everybody to the body. So, but this guy, it's not necessarily getting him out of there early. That's not really my mission. Like I say, I just want to show my skill and show all of it. So, without giving away too much, you will see Saturday. Hey, let's halo your gym you fighting out of. Oh, yeah. Mustafa's Boxing Training, uh, Atlanta Sports Complex. That's where we're at right now. And uh, Mustafa, he's a great trainer. You know, he's really been teaching me a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially with my boxing skills, man, it, it went up so, so crazy. How long yeah. has that tutelage been on the coach Mustafa? Uh, I actually been with Mustafa for a couple months now, okay. probably about six months. You know, like I say, he didn't really taught me a lot in a short amount of time, to be honest. And um, he really got me ready for this now. Being a body puncher, that's your go-to. Is there a fighter that's currently on the higher tier? that you like to, you know, grab some skill sets or some technical? Oh, definitely. Uh, first, it'll be Javante. Uh, he's actually a great body puncher. I don't think a lot of people have seen that yet. Yeah. But my ultimate favorite is Earl Spence, man. Earl Spence is like, I really study him. You know, he's one of my favorites. So mention the Earl Spence. How do you see Earl Spence versus Sean Porter going down in the welterweight division? Uh, to be honest, man, it's going to be a man down. With Earl. All right. But uh, Sean is a tough guy. I don't think he's really going to go down. But uh, Earl going, you know, he's going to show that body work, his boxing skill as well, because Earl is a great boxer as well. Correct. And I think Sean is not going to be able to bully him like he does everybody else. That's true words. Um, Sean Porter he is known to be in a fighter's chest. You know what I'm saying? Um, be in their space. So any final words that you have for your fight fans that's out there heading into this battle? Uh, my fight fans, you can follow me on Instagram at I am the Michael. Um, stay tuned for more fights. Um, I'm going to post my highlights for Saturday night, of course. Uh, hope you've been on a great show. Hopefully you get the knockout that I want. And y'all just stay tuned for more. I appreciate the Warriors salute. And um, thanks for tuning in to World Combat Sports. First, tied in out of the red corner. He's wearing the black and white trim trunks. He went in officially at 134 pounds. This is his second professional fight from Kingston, North Carolina, presenting Terrence Harris. And his opponent tied in out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black and red trim trunks. He's out of the he ATL. Of at one all the coaches and stuff. And one half pounds. He is making his professional debut fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. Presenting to Michael Harris. Referee Bill Plenty for instructions. All right, gentlemen, you're assumed to proceed your rules. 
the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself. You must obey my commands. Your punches, sir, have to be above the line. You, sir, are allowed right here. Touch my good luck. Focus, man. Keep your hands up. One, two, one, two. Time up. Walking back. Walking back. Walking back. Come out of there. Scotty White, World Combat Sportsman, Baltimore, Maryland. Man, you went in there and got it done. You look sharp, man. You was going to the body. Talk about that experience, man. I uh, appreciate it. You know, it's my pro debut. Um, a lot of pro debuts don't even go to the body, but like I, I think I did an interview with you the other day, and I think I told you I, I worked to the body out there very exactly. well. Um, I went out there and I got the job done. Usually I get people out there with the right hand, but today I got them out there with the left. Um, it was your pro debut, but you seemed like your confidence level was through the roof. And you you got in your rhythm early. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, figured out my opponent. He was a little awkward at first. But, you know, I capitalize on anything. And I know how to adjust. And I know how to get the job done. And then oh I'm pretty early. Well, congratulations on the win, man. Look forward to seeing you in the ring once, once again. Anything you want to say to your fight fans out of the A, wherever you want to give a um, shout out. Atlanta, thanks for Baltimore for having me. Thank you, Javante, for everything you do for me, man. I really appreciate you to the most high. And y'all just keep, stay tuned, I'm going to keep winning, and we're going to keep going to the top. Thank you. Hey, there you go, fight fans.